the examiners are loving nowadays is thoracic outlet syndrome where they ask you these test the adsens test the right test and roos test the principle is same in the distribution of c8 and t1 nerve roots you will have numbness and importantly there will be absent radial artery which you can palpate now you can do the extension and abduction of the upper limb and ask the patient to tilt the neck this narrows down the thoracic outlet syndrome around the proximal part of the neck and the shoulder girdle causing this appearance of the radial artery at sense test or you can ask the patient to alternatively open and close and make the fist where your limb is abducted extenuated and patient will start feeling the numbness after about few seconds or minutes this is called as roos test and this video featured in aims 2019 or you can do hyper abduction where disappearance of the radial artery will occur called as a right test all three are for thoracic outlet syndrome whenever we have compression neuropathies their treatment is i have given a name plan a plan a means do not do the provocative things give rest and give anti inflammatory if no relief local steroids if no relief surgery this plan a is a name we have given it's not a standard textbook name but this plan a where you give a conservative trial local steroid not oral and then surgery can be used at multiple places another video that featured in aims exam was allen's test allen's test talks about the patency of the radial artery and the ulnar artery in profusely supplying the hand what do you do here you ask a patient to make a fist you have squeezed out the blood now with your thumb press the area of the radial artery and with the fingers press the area of the ulnar artery when you do this and you open the fist right you can squeeze out the blood and it appears pale now what i have to see is my radial artery palpable or is my radial circulation profuse or not so i will open the thumb area my thumb on the right hand will release it and see does the entire hand turn pink or not if yes it means the circulation from the radial artery is proper so when i do that my hand will turn pink you can see that it means my radial artery is very good in circulation and i can go and cannulate my ulnar artery now what i do is again compress it make multiple time fist and when i do that i press both the areas now i have a pale hand now i'll release the ulnar circulation maintaining the radial compression is the ulnar artery patent if yes it means i can take the samples from the radial artery or do radial artery cannulation so if there is a problem in either of them then the hand will not be profusely circulated it means i can't do the the cannulation or sampling from the arteries on either side this is the allen's test whose video came as a short gif in november 2019 aims exam